also in gym, but then that's been pretty painful when I've had it. I could just do a lot for, Yeah. I've got a bit of a narrow way from that then, but just stretching it open. Is it normally better to remove when it's soft or is it trickier? If it's too soft, it's actually trickier because it just okay. keeps blocking the tube as it's doing ah. right now. <laughs> if the wax is a bit firmer, you can get a good grip on it with the suction probe and it just comes out in one mass. But if it's too hard, obviously you won't get that grip. So it's a, there is a perfect consistency for ear wax removal. Um, but we can use drops ourselves during the procedure, so in a way, I prefer people not to overuse drops prior to coming. Right, if they okay. use it the day before, that's fine. In the smaller cottage next door, we moved across here just um, a few weeks ago now, so it's still settling in. Oh, I've got all that. around here. I've got the blockage out. I'm just going to use a little scoop just to mop up around the edge. Okay. How do you feel? Is that better? Or... It's yeah. It probably sounds much sharper because I've I've been feeling for weeks like my ears are full. Well, I think there's but... something else going on as well with your eardrum, so I'm going to do another test in a minute. Okay. Have you had grommets before or nope. history of ear infection? Nope, never. You've got a bit of scarring on your eardrum, which I'll show you in a moment. Okay. It's a white patch. It's just calcification and you get a white. It's called tympanosclerosis. Your eardrum also looks retracted, so buckled inwards. Um, okay. And that's normally due to eustachian tube dysfunction. Have you ever heard of that before? No. I'll explain it to you. So behind your eardrum, there's a narrow tube, narrow orifice called the eustachian tube. It connects the middle ear, which is a cavity behind your eardrum, to the back of the nose and the eustachian tube has two functions it's a drain pipe so any fluid that accumulates behind your eardrum can drain away but it's also the pressure equaliser in the ear so for example when you go on an aircraft as you descend yeah the air pressure in the plane is greater than the air pressure behind mm -hmm. your eardrum so the eardrum gets sucked in as it buckles in and what we normally do is we close our mouth pinch our nose yeah and blow and we force air up the nose up the eustachian tube to pop the eardrum back out. But mine's ret like, ret not retracted in. So but what's happened possibly with you is that your eustachian tube is blocked and it normally gets blocked at the back of the nose. So there's no air behind the eardrum. So the eardrum it creates a vacuum, so the eardrum gets pulled in. I suppose it's nothing to do with it, but I have issues with my sinuses. It's and actually like, connected, it can uh, be, yeah. Because the eustachian tube is very narrow, it's about a millimetre, two millimetres at the top, and it's at the back of the nose near your sinuses. So if you've got any sinus issues, it can also block the eustachian tube. So uh, okay. I'm going to do a test just to confirm that in a moment. I'm just going to get this soft surface wax on the edge. Yeah, that's me now. Yeah, it feels empty now. <laughs> Brilliant. So, so. Closer look at your eardrum there. So the edges look a bit retracted, a bit scarring there. Lovely view. Okay, so I'm going to do a pressure test now. Okay.